So here is a 5 16 flat. Throw this in here. And there's a profile of it. Super, Super stubby. stubby. That was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, mechanics? Happy Tuesday. Welcome back to another episode of Tool Tuesday here at the Vim Tools headquarters. We don't have many questions today. Last week, everyone was just answering the question that we asked, which was, what did you think of the bit set? Um, a lot of you gave your opinions, so thank you for that. We're going to try and keep this episode short. We're here at the office late today. It is dark outside. It is <laughs> so. 7 o'clock on a Thursday because yeah. my friend here is going to be gone tomorrow, Friday. And I will be gone on Monday. So, for this to work for a Tuesday, we need to get it done today. Which we found out like 20 minutes ago. So, here we are on a Thursday night to serve you, my friends, our viewers. Okay, so today we're talking about bits. We have a lot of bits. We have a quarter, we have five to sixteenths. We have some power shank. Some um, five eighths overall length, some full length bits. Yep. Some closeouts, some heavyweight impact driver. We've got a lot of stuff for you today. But first, we're going to talk a little bit about a new product that is in stock that we showed briefly last episode, which is That's the... That's in stock? Yes. You sure? Yeah. News to me. The NR400K. Here it is. The tiniest ratchet in the world. So it comes with three pieces. It comes with the removable square drive as well as the extension. So you can use this just like that with the bits inside, or you can put the square drive in and use it with sockets. The extension slips right in the bottom to make a handle so you have a little bit more leverage or more reach if you need it. You can also put the extension in the head. Now you have this like sort of speed ratchet because you can grab it like this, right? Or you have an L key because that is a magnetic quarter hex on the bottom as well. Now I want to show you something. So you put the half cut bits that we have from our VHC 77. These are 5 eighths of an inch in overall length. You put this into the head of the ratchet and it adds no height to the bit's profile because it sits fully flush with the back end of the ratchet. So you have 5 eighths of an inch of basically in total depth. So you have a ton of clearance in under dash work or you know any, anywhere close quarters. That's an amazing tool. And that is the NR400K. And now I know a lot of you are going to say, well, why didn't you put that NR400K in a set with those bits? We did. That's called the VHC42, but it's not available yet. It is in our 2024 catalog, which is available to download, but the VHC42 won't be available till about, I'd say, July at least. So that being said, you can get we've the mini ratchet here. now. We've shown it here before a few times on a Sample Tuesday. I guess we have. Yeah, we definitely have. So, so she, we showed it at our SEMA sample special. That's for sure. I think we tease too much. We do tease way too much. We gotta stop. That's on him. He hides it from That's me. That's on me. Hundred percent. I hide what? You should, I didn't know that was here. So you're like. Mm -hmm. You definitely knew that was here. We talked about it. I didn't. I didn't. We just posted a video about that on our Instagram. So go check it out. Correct. If All you're right. not following us on Instagram, follow us. Por favor. <laughs> follow, follow us. <laughs> okay, so we're jumping in to... All right, products. We'll talk more about tools today because some of you got upset that we didn't talk about tools enough the other day. So, tools. Um, we'll start with the smallest bit set in terms of overall length on the market. This is one of our best-selling items, top five for sure. VHC 77, a lot of you probably know it. it looks a little different. It's in a new case. Um, you guys may have seen the case before. Maybe we've shown it since we got the updated case. Very popular set. Fun fact, these are used in every Rivian production plant. Why are you looking at me like that? I was just waiting for you to expand on it. Because it... what? <laughs> okay. They're used in every Rivian, pro <laughs> Rivian production <laughs> <You> plant. <laughs> which is pretty cool, and we originally didn't know that until we changed the case, and they reached out to us, and we're like... Hey, um, that case doesn't fit. Well, they made a spot specifically in their toolbox for the for the longer case that we had, the old style. And they're like, "Did you guys change the case? Because now we got to change the toolboxes." And actually, Michael saw it on Instagram once. He saw a post of someone working on a Rivian, and that case was in the trunk of the car. And that's how you add on. 
<laughs> well, you're late now. <laughs> no, nah, it was pretty good. It was good. They know it was good. So, yeah, it's a very popular page, and it was not on Instagram. It was on YouTube. Uh, YouTube Shorts, which I don't know how I feel about YouTube Shorts, but... Why? I don't know, man. YouTube Shorts just... I don't know. Do you guys use YouTube Shorts? Let me know. Because we've been posting on there, uh, not as much as we do on Instagram, but I mean, we post some stuff on YouTube Shorts. So do you guys watch that? Let me know. Anyways, it was a guy that does tech reviews, and he was doing a review on the Rivian, and he was opening up some of the tools that they put in the service bag in the truck, and the VHC-77 was in there. And I paused it, and I was like, ah! That was like that, um... Leonardo 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 Carbio yeah, yeah. smoking the cigarette. Here I come. Oh, yep. Okay, so here's the VHC 77. This is a 77 piece half cut bit set. Uh, these are all 5 eighths of an inch in overall length. You have quarter as well as 5 sixteenths bits. And you even have the ratchet for it. This side is quarter, this side is 5 sixteenths. This is our HBR5. You have the spin disc on the back, it's reversible. And so here's a. Five, you know, six, I want to. Hold on one second. I want to mention something. Because I did see this somewhere, and I don't remember where I saw it. It was one of those things where you're, I was setting up till 3 in the morning, and I couldn't sleep, so I went on my phone, looked up in tools, and just kind of explored. I'm sure you've done that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So someone said something about those ratchets specifically, all of our hex bit ratchets. They mentioned that the resistance on them is a little high, so that when it's a loose bolt situation, it makes it kind of a pain in the butt. Then I commented, I was like, that is literally what the thumb wheel is for. So that when it is a loose bolt, you just turn the thumb wheel. Makes it 10 times easier to remove that bolt than actually turning a ratchet, even if it's the lowest back drag of all. That's the whole point. Yeah, it make, yeah, it makes sense. That is the point of it. But I, I didn't know people didn't know that. I figured they'd see that and think, yeah, that makes sense. Well, some people, you know, got to look a little harder. <clears throat> well, there you go. So here is a 5 sixteenths flat. Throw this in here. And there's a profile of it. Super stubby. stubby. That was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you have pretty much everything. You have Torx, Torx Plus. You have Security Torx. You have Security Torx Plus. You have Hex Metric, Hex SAE, Phillips and Slotted, as well as some triple squares. You have a square drive adapter for the 5 sixteenths side of this ratchet. And you have two power shank extensions. One that's a 5 uh, quarter power shank to quarter hex, and then this one is, I'm sorry, that's the 5 16th. There you go. And then power shank to quarter hex. Quarter hex bit holder, yeah. Quarter by quarter, quarter by 5 16th. There's a, a lot of the numbers going around, and sometimes you just get them mixed it's up. It's also 7 o'clock on a Thursday. We've had a long week. Long two weeks. Long three weeks. <clears throat> it's always busy when you get back from shows. Well, before the shows, busy, 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 busy. At the shows, nonstop all day until at night you really don't do anything except for look at your emails and then yeah. you get back from shows and everything you avoided during the week of the show hits you in the face like a freaking car going on a million miles an hour yeah and uh that leads to this fun fact there's a qr on the label right here on the inside of the uh the case if you scan that you will get a parts breakdown, parts breakdown of the entire set son of a bitch what I was at the show showing someone. I was talking about the parts breakdown. Then I went, bam! I was like, oh, it's not there. Yeah, it's on the inside of the And he was case. like, oh, it didn't work out for you, did it? I was like... Uh. <laughs> and I, I didn't... Well, maybe he's watching. Yeah. I really, like, if I could pay an amount of money to go back and just, you know... Well, look, these bits are so small that there's no room to print a part number. So if you ever need to warranty one or you lose one or something... It, sometimes it's hard. You go to your dealer, you give him that piece, and then it, you know, he has to yeah, call right. around and find out the part numbers. Now it is much easier. You just scan the QR code. But there was room to put the S2 logo. I don't know if you can see it on here. The bits are really small. It's hard for this thing to focus. The S2 logo is labeled on the bit. Uh, roll marked, stamped, whatever you want to call it. It is on the bit. Because we kind of... Are, uh, they, are uh, they roll stamped on these? I think it's a press, I right? think these are, these are hard stamped because they're the hex shape. Yeah. I don't think you can roll them. Also on the label, you have the different... Uh, visual markings for the types of tools that are in here, the types of drivers. So like I was saying, Torx, Torx, Tamper Resistant, and all the other types. That is VHC 77, guys. That is one of our most popular yeah, sets Torx, of all time. Torx, Torx Plus. You already said all this, didn't you? Yes, I did. Moving on. Anyways, so for a very long while, 
back in like 2020-ish, 2021, that set was actually our really our only complete bit set, even though it was a specialty 5 8 overall length bit set. So it's a stubby set, but it was really our only one. And we ran into a supply chain issue, as did much of the world at the time, and we couldn't get those because those are very, those are, it's a very specific process to make those, and we were unable to get them. So what we did is we came out with the Big Brother kit in the meantime to service the demand for those bits. But we couldn't make it the same, so we made this one a little bit different. Now, you have all the same versatility in the bits. You have all the same types, torques, tamper-proof, metric standard hex, you know, flats, Phillips, triple square, yada, yada. You even have Robertson. Robertson, uh, Robertson in clutch, bits. I believe. Anyways, so they're pretty complete. But at the end of the day, they are full-length bits, which is not as exciting as the stubby stuff. So a, But makes, it's a regular bit. And something if we forgot to mention about the last one is that it's made from S. Well, no, we mentioned we talked that. about it being stamped. It's got the logo, but they're made from S2 steel, and so are these. They're S2. <clears throat> so, so it is a very strong. But it is a regular bit at the end of the day. So it makes it, A, more difficult for a dealer to sell it on their truck, and because it's a bit set, and they have plenty of them. And B, um, again, as a user, you're like, I don't, I don't need more bits. But what makes this kit attractive and what makes you want this bad boy is, A, it is a complete kit, so that's, you know, that has some merit, but... This little ratchet that I'm sure you guys have seen, which is our RFB, RFB 400K, yeah, our RFB 400 ratchet that has the extension that you can use to get to anything that's offset because it's a locking flex head with ease. You know that deal. You can match the flat spot and the white dot on the head for it to become a pass through. So now you have a T handle with a magnetic bit insert on the bottom that'll work with any of these bits here. You can also stick the extension in the bottom of the ratchet to make a longer 10 inch extent uh, ratchet. So it has a couple uses in this ratchet which people do enjoy. Now, that is not to mention these guys down here which are super popular. What they all are, are bit drive. You see that? Bit drive sockets. Because a lot of people do not know what the heck they are because they look funky sitting in the case upside down. But they are the world's first, I'm not gonna say that. They are one of the first bit drive sockets. So now you can use this bit insert and the extension. You can use it on the bottom if you have this T-handle style going, or you can use it in the head directly. So now you have a super low profile 10 millimeter. And with that thumb wheel, I mean, there's, you that's, don't. Yeah, but, and that's less of an inch. It's less than an inch from the back of the head to the front of the socket. So that's super low profile. And a ratchet, you don't even have to turn on a loose bolt. 10 mil. It's pretty cool. It's very it cool. is cool. And a lot of people do ask us, are we coming out with a set of just the sockets with the ratchet? That's a possibility. What we're looking into right now is setting up tooling for a e-torx version, mm. possibly a standard hex, maybe even a, what am I missing? <laughs> what are the sockets am I missing? And there's like 12 point sockets. In the 12 point? Mm -hmm. we, can make, you know, we can make a whole bunch of We've got plenty of options. We're looking into them, but as it sits, no, we don't have just a plain set with that. But eventually we'll have something for you, and you will see it here first, as you have with every other tool that we freaking make, because that's how we do things. FRBS 89, it's a great bit set. It's a complete bit set. It has all those extra little goodies. It looks damn good, and it holds up. Another fun fact, that set won an award. What was it, 29, or 2021? Won an award at one of the shows we went to? Best new product? I don't remember, there's so many of them. <laughs> uh, we have won a lot of awards. We have a whole shelf of our trophies here. We do, but to be fair, I am, uh, there's a word for these type of people, but I don't believe them. You don't believe in awards? I just, I feel like they see whatever's hot and that people like, and they just, they feed into that. Like well, even that's it, like, up, say, man, but that's but that's what, say, that's say they have a, but say they have like an old like a, like a you're at a show and there's a company who has you know has been doing solid numbers and you're talking say for shits and giggles say ten million dollars at every show they're doing ten million ten million to every year they're stagnant they don't grow they don't shrink and then you have this one company who's doing hundred k and all of a sudden they they're blowing up they do six hundred k that company wins the award just because they're hot but they have done. 10%, less than 10% of what the other company did. They grew 600%. Yeah, but they did 10% of the, the volume that the other company did. I don't know. Uh, I'm telling you, I don't know. Some of the awards seem rigged. They seem rigged and they seem okay, like so fanboy Okay, so tell me, tell me this, tell me this, tell me this. 
your son is playing football, okay? And this running back on the team, right, mm -hmm. has the most yards out of anyone his age in the country, mm -hmm. okay? Does so every single year, mm -hmm. all right? And he's gotten awards before. Mm -hmm. But your son, let's say, he's a, let's say he's a defensive end, okay. and he makes a game-winning sack to put you guys into the playoffs, all right, and, and he does, and he plays amazing throughout the whole playoffs. Basically, he's the reason taking you guys to the championship. Mm -hmm. He wins the award. And you're gonna say, well, I mean, yeah, but that running back though. Did he win Most Valuable Player? MVP. Yes. It's a rigged system. Hundred <laughs> percent. Okay, I'm just glad I'm not your son. It's a rigged system. All right. Onward. He the, doesn't win the award. I don't have a son. <laughs> <laughs> now we're talking about the IMP 600. This is our impact driver and bit set. <clears throat> well, we got to clarify. The IMP 600 comes with those two. The IMP 600K, which is the full kit, comes with all of them. All six. Now, why did we do that? The reason for this is actually because a lot of, again, you got to consider that we're selling to a lot of independent tool trucks as well, well through warehouses, but. Uh, as well as a lot of flagships. So, you know, those all those big name trucks have our products on their truck. With that, they also have all of their own product. So you gotta keep in mind they have their own impact bits. They have all their own 516, like they have stuff they're pushing themselves. So I want to give both our customer base and the end user the chance to fill with their own bits if they already have them, which is why we came with two versions of this kit. We do that with a couple different kits. But the IMP 600 is one of them where we have two options, the IMP 600 with just some important bits and you can fill them up with your own, or the IMP 600K, which comes with everything. And the bits are at a discount at that point. Um, personally, I like the full, you know, full-fledged version with everything in it. it kind of fits well, it matches, everything's uniform, that's just me. But there are people who are more, how about this? They want complete sets. Well, not even that, just. You want something that's filled and complete as a, a comprehensive set that's what this is well no i'm saying i would love this yeah but there are the other side of the table and there are people who are more economically aware inclined yeah <laughs> there are people that would and rather don't want to splurge on the extra freaking bits well a lot of people already have five sixteenths impact bits and so they'd say i'm gonna get all the same bits that i already have in exactly. this set so i won't buy it so what this does is prevents you so, the those, so then people would just go buy some random impact driver because they already have their own bits. They're like, well, I'm not, I don't need all the bits, so I'll just buy this one over here. That's much cheaper. That prevents you from saying, I don't want this because of that. The only reason you wouldn't want this kit now is because you don't like the product, which is rarely the case. So we offer both. And this comes with Hex Metric, Hex SAE, Triple Square, Torx Plus, Torx, and Phillips and Slotted. You have your 3 8 standard. Did you say standard? Yeah. Oh. You have your 3 8 to 5 16 adapter that fits on the Torx driver. If you don't know what this is, you, I mean, you can use this with 3 8 no sockets. There's no way they don't know what that is. There's <laughs> no. no way they're well, watching this and they don't know what that is. I, I know that. Who, who? But you have to explain it. Your mother is the only person who doesn't know what that is. <laughs> Jeej, I know you're watching. Mom, <laughs> let's say there's a fastener that is. Explain just, it to your mother. Let's say there's a seized. Fastener, a bolt, okay? Or you can use your sockets to use it on something else. Tiny as a mill. And uh, you can't get it loose with the breaker bar or ratchet something. Uh, and let's say you're not going to use an impact, <clears throat> like an impact gun. You take this, you put your socket or your bit on it, you stick it right there, and you smack it with a hammer. And the downward force actually twists the anvil. You can switch it either left or right, but you would never use this to tighten something, really and it will break that bolt free. And this is almost twice as heavy as other ones on the market. And the heavier it is, the more force is transferred downwards into that twisting motion onto the fastener. So a heavier impact driver does make a difference. And this one is very, very heavy. It's about wish... double the standard weight in the industry. And double the weight also means double the momentum going into that anvil as you're striking it with the hammer, which is why at shows, the main way you sell this kit, which for you dealers, the same way you sell this kit off your truck, would be tell them to grab whatever flagship brand impact driver they'd like and come up to your truck with it or to me at the booth. Put that in their hand, drop it in their hand, and then drop this in their hand.
Mm -hmm. Very different outcome. This you, is you much heavier. You can really feel it. It's very heavy. I, obviously, the camera doesn't show weight, but it's a lot beefier. Yeah, it's a solid piece of steel. Okay. I usually just sit at home and I do this at night. You know, that's why my fucking arms are so big. Okay. <laughs> so, next on the docket, we have closeout of the day. Now, this is kind of a... It is a closeout, but it's a closeout not because we're discontinuing it. It is because we're transitioning into a larger set. This is our PDM 100, which means Power Drive Metric Hex 100 kit. Yes, I'm missing a piece. That's because it's from the showroom. But this kit is now one of three kits that are being transitioned into one master set. We have a Torx, a Torx Plus, and this Metric Hex set. All three of them are now in a master Power Drive bit set. Hex shanks, <clears throat> so we're no longer gonna carry all the individual, meaning we're no longer going to carry the three individual sets. Now, that being said, this kit, I think it's like $87, right? Yeah, typical retail, 87 yeah. bucks, right? Well, we're gonna give you a closeout. $54, that's gonna be it. Right that's there. even lower than we agreed before we started the show. But it Lucky said, you. It, it has been said. $54 is what we're going to do. Man, I knew I was wrong. Anyways, <laughs> you got, we're honoring it. $54. You got a locking quarter to quarter hex shank adapter or quarter to quarter hex adapter. So you can use these with it a quarter from, square drive it goes if you'd like. Two and a half millimeters to 10 millimeters in both six inches overall length and three inches overall length. So you're going to have three and these. Half. Three and a half? Okay, three and a half. So you're going to have the same tool in both long and short. Or long and short. It's a pretty nice little kit. Lifetime warranty, obviously. And we do have replacement parts for it. So don't worry about saying, oh, no, you're not going to be able to warranty it. We can still warranty it. We can replace it with a very similar or equivalent thing. But we do have the same things because it's part of the master set now. Yeah, if you buy something that's discontinued and you try to warranty it and we don't have any more, we will give you an equivalent of... It, or take it from a new product. You know, it may not be the same finish, but it is what it is. But at the end of the day, we will take care of that issue because it is a lifetime warranty. We're not like some other people who say, I'm not gonna go into that, but you know what I'm saying. I know what you're <laughs> gonna say. I know what you're gonna say. Uh, you, know, you know what I'm getting at, but I'm not gonna say it. Um, it was made. Yeah, it, it's our brand, we're warrantying it. Whether that warranty is in, lieu, in, in, in the form of a similar item, that is of same or more value, or a credit for the value of what you had originally bought. We will take care of it. These are made from S2 steel, and they are milled from one piece. This is all one piece, okay? And a lot of power shanks, you will see people will take the driver portion and just glue it to the shank on the bottom. So it's a two-piece tool driver. That is not the case with these. These are all one piece. Same Impact, thing with our power shank baby. drill bits. Same with same thing with our power shank drill bits that we showed last week. Impact. Anywho, is this the six? This is six. So these bad boys are on the website. I think we only have like 150 of these bad boys left, which is not a little bit, but it's not a ton. So buy them out. Keep them. Have a piece of them history for a slight deal, which is bigger than I plan on giving. But it is what it is. PDM 100 on the website, $54. Can't beat it. Okay, guys. Uh, what time is it now? 7.28. 7.30. We're going to go home. and uh, I'm not going home. I have to do, I have to write up some quotes. What? All right. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you for staying with us. And we'll see you next week. We do appreciate you all. Peace.